Hey guys, it's Marla. So what you're about to see was top ticket for about two months. I could not tell you guys anything and I had to keep all the details to myself, but the commercial's out now so I can finally share it with you guys. We had initially been contacted by our agents not to give out any information until the commercial was out, but now that it is, we're going to Chuck E. Cheese. I booked the job! Hey guys, what's up? My name is Marla Acevedo. I am a Dallas-based actress and I do Life of an Actress vlogs. So if this is your first time here, Welcome, you guys are in for a ride. So last week I took you guys on my first in-person audition since the pandemic. And guys, I booked the job. So today I'm gonna to be taking you guys along with me on set. We're going to be shooting a commercial for Chuck E. Cheese and I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me. So let's go. I'm actually just gonna put on a little bit more mascara because I think I had more mascara the day that I auditioned, so. Okay, so I just retouched up my lips a little bit and um, added a little bit of mascara. So um, it is, it's 10.15, so it's 15 minutes before I'm gonna go ahead. So we're going to go ahead and head inside. Okay, so we just changed, um, got my hair and makeup done. They did something like super simple, try to like age me up a little bit. And I'm just wearing this coral. Lunch break. A little bit. So we just finished shooting our second shot, which is just like us in front of a green screen. And uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can go take you guys back there, but for now we're just resting. There's like about four different families here. Um, so we're just kind of like interchanging within the shots within between the different families. So just hanging on. That's my husband over there. Husband. And uh, my kids are somewhere up there, but I'm gonna see if I can take you guys over here. So we have a makeup artist here. Um, I don't really want to like get in her space too much because she's working and she's been crazy busy, but you can kind of see her from here. Okay, so we just finished shooting. Um, we have to wear masks, but yeah, our stuff is pretty much over. I'm here with my kids. I'm gonna ask them if I can take them on camera, but. Uh, we all have to basically be like six feet apart, but we're all shooting. The shooting takes place over there. But. Mm, you can kind of see a little bit of action going on. I'm gonna try to take my camera over there. Hi Gia, this is Gia. She's playing my daughter. How cute is she? Hi Gia! Where's, where's Christian? I'm so excited. I can finally eat cake. Not any cake, chocolate cake. So you guys know I had the commercial and ever since I found out, I was super excited. However, I found out like two days before the shoot that, that I was booked and I was super excited. Um, I had a chocolate cake that was brought home, which I was super excited about. And I had just like the tiniest slice, you know, on the first day. And I noticed that, which was the day I got noticed that I had a, I started getting like a little pimple. I have been depriving myself of this chocolate cake 
all this week because I just didn't even want to risk um, like getting put like potentially getting a pimple or like a little minor breakout or anything because for the most part I have really clear skin however if I eat especially I don't know for some reason especially chocolate or like if I eat too much sweets or too much bees like it will show in my face and I definitely get like a breakout or two so you guys have no idea how hard it's been for me because I love chocolate cake and oh I'm just I was I like literally I was like oh my gosh I can't wait for uh, Wednesday to be over so I can finally dig into the chocolate cake. It is like 11 o'clock at night and I really I need to go to bed but I'm craving chocolate and I haven't been I haven't been eating chocolate because I don't want to get any pimples. Right now my face is like super smooth like okay don't mind like my dark under eye circles I'm just like I can't get rid of those, but my face, she's smooth. Gina just got off the bed. I'm going to sleep. Okay, I have to go to bed. Good night, guys. I'm so excited. Mmm. And it's got this fudge. I don't know like just chocolate cake or any chocolate cake or like any type of chocolate just like I have to have milk or water or something with it it just dries out my mouth so much but we're back guys I'm so ha I'm so happy to be able to eat this again okay so I just kind of wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys a little bit about the shoot and how it went and give you like a little bit of details and a little bit of a crazy story time because your girl got spit on spit 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 on so first of all i'm so sorry i did not vlog as much as i intended to or as like i wanted to i am so sorry i had planned to like give you guys all of the details but it was very very difficult to things move so quickly and whenever it is a project like this especially with such a big name like chicky cheese there's a certain amount of exclusivity that just cannot be released and then you also have tons of kids on set so there's that but um i did try to sneak in my camera and i like used my phone to get a couple of shots too so we did a commercial for chuck e cheese per the title of this video per this whole vlog period as you can tell basically i auditioned for this role on friday and i got notified on mon i got notified about it on monday yeah monday night monday evening sunday evening i think monday sunday literally like two days before super excited about it i got cast as the young mom okay funny story i always audition for young mom young mom but it's kind of like a love hate relationship with me as happy that i am that like i'm going on auditions and like i'm getting you know callbacks um well i was pre-pandemic um when we could actually like go out and audition but I would get to the audition and like be in a room full of women who actually look like young mom. Yes, I could definitely pull off a young mom. Um, however, when you put me to someone who's a little bit older than me, like I look very, very young and I already look a lot younger than what I actually am to begin with. So age wise, I definitely am young mom age, but physicality wise, I tend to play a lot younger. I literally just toured for an entire year playing a first grader. So <laughs> it doesn't always match up. Um, and as many auditions and ha as I have gone to for a young mom, I never end up getting cast as one. And I get it, like totally understandable. However, this time I did. I got cast as a young mom and I was super, super excited and so grateful. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm now a young mom. I'm just really grateful. You never know. You 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 never know what they're looking for. Also, it was Chuck E. Cheese, so they're probably like going for just like a younger crowd, which is, you know, totally believable and relatable and true. So I am 
super excited that I actually got cast as a young mom because I'm not gonna lie I've been like dying to play one but uh, yeah I got on set we had a makeup person there I already had makeup on like just simple my simple everyday makeup but the makeup artist was doing our touch-ups you know adding blush changing lipsticks adding powder stuff like that um, concealer anything that we needed I got powdered I think I had they added a little bit of blush on me and my lipstick color got changed but yeah, just like really minimal stuff. And then also my hair, as you can tell, got pulled back just because my hair does tend to kind of like get in my face. Like you can tell, like my hair just always falls specifically. Like it always covers this eye, which like I don't mind. And like, like it's like fine for every day, but for a commercial, they definitely need it out of my face. So my hair did get pulled back into like a low, um, into like a low ponytail and that was basically because what needed to be done um you know for for the shop so you might show up on set looking a certain way but you know it all depends on what they need so that's just what they needed that day i honestly would much rather have that than you know feeling bad because like my hair is always in my face and then they have to cut all the time and be like cut let's get the hair out of the face because i have had that happen to me before and like it's a little bit it's a little bit embarrassing because i don't like to be I don't know I just don't like to feel like I'm the issue like my hair's the issue so that's that I had the most adorable kid I had two children a little girl and a little boy Christian and Gia Gianna which I love those names Christian and Gianna were my two little children I love them so much my husband was another you know Latino actor named Arturo and it was so nice to meet everybody and work with them I met so many cool new actors on set so it was so nice to network with other actors especially that was my first project back since the quarantine like post quarantine and it was also a lot of other actors jobs back but there were some that they're like, yeah, this is like my third project since the whole quarantine. So I think that's awesome. I think that really speaks to how much the industry is picking up like slowly but surely. And the fact that we were just like all able to work on set together was was so refreshing. So basically what shoot was, it was three different families having fun, having a good time at Chuck E. Cheese. There was a Caucasian family. There was a Hispanic family, which was my family. And then there was a mixed race family. So basically what happens is like you do the same scenes with all of the three different families and then you'll have a family do a different shoot or um, it just kind of varies depending on what they're looking for but for the most part we all had the same shot of the three different families so that's technically how it's shot and we did all of the shots one with the mask and one without the mask then when they edit the commercial together that's when they decide what shots they cut and what shots they don't and it's all part of the magic so we were on set with tons of children it was so much fun like they literally just got to run around and play all day and like we were just there supervising in their you know supervising parents so towards the end um <laughs> my kids were great they were fantastic they were amazing all the way through towards the end my four-year-old he's four so like he hadn't had a nap and his mom told me like oh it's getting kind of late for him he hasn't had a nap yet he's been shooting all day no nap you know like just tired and restless and by the last shot when you know one of our last shots was a scene of us sitting down eating the pizza and by this time he was kind of over it he was starting to get fussy he was tired by this time i think i think it was probably like 3 30 past 3 30 and he'd been there since 10 a.m so i'm sure he'd been up since like an 8 or 9 a.m. This was a long day for him. The last shot, uh, they were like, okay, everybody, put on your mask, put your mask on. And like, we finally got him to put the mask on. And they're like, okay, now you're gonna take off your mask and then grab for the pizza. And action. We take off our masks, grab for the pizza. I give my son his pizza. I eat my pizza. And they're like, okay, and bite. We take a bite. He does not want to bite. And he's like, no, I already had pizza. Like, while we're rolling, like, take a bite. Christian, take a bite. And he's like, no, I don't want pizza. Takes off the pizza and like throws the plate in the air and just like completely loses it. He's like, I don't want pizza. I already had pizza. And I was like, like I said, this was my first time working with kids like on set, like me having kids. And I had never experienced that. And I was like, oh my God. he's not having it. Like he just was not having it. This, guys, this was all while we were rolling. And I was just like in my head thinking like, are we still rolling? Like but you know all while that i'm i'm like mm -hmm. also i did not know we were gonna have a shot of us actually having to bite the pizza i thought it was just gonna be a shot of us like reaching for the pizza we actually had to bite it and i don't eat meat and it was pepperoni so like 
<laughs> I was a little bit I should have, you know, told them that from the beginning. Called cut and we tried it over again. And they're like, put your mask on, put your mask on. And they're like, mom, which is me. They're like, mom, can you put your mask, put the mask on him? So I'm like sitting there, like he's like literally right next to me. And I'm like, okay, let's put your mask on. And he's like, no, like takes the mask on. And I put it on, he takes it off. I put it on and I'm like, okay, like let's put your mask on. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if this kid's gonna let me. Like I said, guys, by now he is tired. And he like takes it off. He's like, no, I don't want to put my mask on. <laughs> and like... Obviously, because I'm next to him, some of that, like, spit gets onto me, and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> He's not going to put his mask on. So that was interesting. Uh, don't worry. We all, you know, got our temperatures checked and everything for, for COVID. Um, I highly doubt that he was contagious. Also, his mom and I got along really well, and she's been super careful with her kids. Like, they have not gone out at all this whole time. She has been extremely careful with her kids and herself, so I think we are good. But it was just an experience for me because I'd never had that happen. And it was, honestly, it was like, it was, it was a little funny to see the kids break down. Not when the kids cry, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying like when they act crazy, like it's a little funny, okay? The whole time in my head, I'm just like, this is really, like, we're on a set. Yeah, I know. It's like, we know we would never act like that, but like the kids, they don't care. It was hilarious it was definitely an experience but either way i had so much fun my kids were great um you can't even be mad at him because first of all he is adorable but second of all he's so young he like the little boy was literally four years old and he's tired he hasn't had a nap he's been on set all day like what do you expect you know what i mean um working with kids is so different and i'm so glad i had the opportunity and the chance like i teach and you know i work with them every day but working with them on this level and like on a commercial level is completely different it's honestly a lot of fun so i'm really glad that i got to work with them just wanted to kind of give you a quick little insight like i said sorry i didn't get to vlog as in depth as i as in depth as i normally do but there was just more restrictions this time but yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching i just wanted to share this with you i hope that you guys enjoyed make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you guys can always get notified whenever i have new videos out and new content and i will see you guys here next time